Yes, and one other example where they put really grinding sanctions on was Saddam Hussein after he invaded Kuwait in 1990, and they put sanctions on, eventually went to war because the sanction didn't work. And sometimes sanctions can show your, it can be an escalatory thing. Not, not only will it not stop the war, it will cause an escalation to the next level. So I think we have to be careful with using them. And as I said before, oftentimes they're a domestic, particularly in the United States, since we use sanctions the most, it's a, it's a domestic, uh, has a, the primary effect I think is domestically to show that the president, whatever party they're from, is actually doing something about a problem. He can't, again, he can't get in, he refuses to, and with good reason to get, to send US troops because we could have a nuclear war potentially. And the other thing is if you just do the diplomatic at the other end of the spectrum, that seems like you're not doing anything. So we put on sanctions. I would have preferred targeted sanctions. And I think, you know, over time, that is gonna hurt the Russian economy, but I don't think there's any way that Putin is going to stop unless he's defeated on the battlefield or he gets what he wants. And I'm hoping he doesn't do that because I'm, you know, I think he did the wrong thing here and, you know, it was counterproductive for him. Now he has true NATO troop build up, NATO more uh, nations in NATO and uh, Ukrainian nationalism, I think is gonna cause a guerrilla warfare for many years because they want part of their country back, you know, that, that that's been taken.